There are 7.8 billion people on this planet. These are our traces, and this is how we treat our home. Maybe people are too busy and too occupied with the daily runnings of their own life. So they cannot connect that we must look after the thing that supports us the most, nature. We see this, we feel this, we know that it happens, but why haven't we acted yet? We may not directly see the harm that this is creating to us just yet, and we may not have to, if we take action now. As society changes from day to day, so does a person's desire to purchase. Whilst we wish that people would refrain from consuming, we ourselves do not have the power to press our own stop button on these actions. If we can't stop consuming, we need to change the way that we do consume. We have designed a way for environmental action to be scaled up. For a garment to have an environmental action token. To remove plastic waste from beaches in Thailand and to plant mangrove trees in Myanmar. Our platform for this action is called Somewhere. Here we are, in the jungle, but there are some humans around. Leaving their usual ignorant footprints. Our global village is threatened by plastic pollution and climate change. But perhaps most of all, just this huge vacuum of ignorance. So this is not setting, you know, the frame for the next thousands of years to come. This is your great, 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 great grandchildren and onwards. They are the ones that will feel what we are doing right now. So we need to figure out what's important for our long time survival on the planet somewhere. So much like planning for a very long expedition, it's time to focus on our actual priorities. In that way we can secure supplies for a thousand of years to come and not only the 25 years that we may look at today. We at Planet Somewhere, we want to take on these challenges and move, move straight away. So we came from the water with technology as world leaders in windsurfing and, and in paddleboarding. We have been awarded our own Olympic class to drive change towards the Paris and uh, the LA Games. This is our IQ for class. We love the oceans where we play and we learn from the oceans every time we go into them. We calculated our CO2 emissions and all the plastics that were flying around, like this stuff that sits in the middle of our boards. Then we thought after reducing solar and changing to the bio resins and whatever we could do, we thought maybe we can after all balance it all. Maybe we can balance everyone in the loop. All our products, all our team riders, and our factories. Maybe even, this may be a wild idea, but that's what we're heading at. Can we balance our customers' annual ocean plastic and CO2 emissions through apparel? Crazy idea. You may know that the apparel industry is responsible for almost 10% of global CO2 emissions. Then comes all the water use and the afterlife issues. So it's like a, it's a loop here that we need to need to look at from a different angle to be able to do something about. Our course is simply to start an environmental movement, creating a better brand for the planet. My name is Sven Rasmussen. I, I grew up in Arendal, Norway. Actually, the first town to pledge to become climate neutral with the United Nations. I traveled the world for windsurfing. I just love that sport. So there was world championships, the Olympic games, and just a lot of fun. But now I've been in Thailand the last 27 years, helping to build our starboard group of companies. So life is becoming an infinite game, and we want to do something useful into the next chapters of life. I'm here to plant the mangrove trees, one post and after another, and to turn off the single-use plastic tap. This tap is somehow just fueling our, our plastic habit. It's not needed really. So, but on planet somewhere, we see no age, there are no borders. The youngest player is 13, and uh, the older is, uh, I think, has 81 years of experience. Wow, 
wow, you can get a little envious with these pictures, but what I'm complaining about. My name is Timo Perschke. I live in Germany, right in front of the door of the ocean. Every day on my way to work with a ferry, I have time to observe different things. Wind, waves, seagulls, kids learning sailing, commercial shipping, and then, on the other hand, floating plastic bags in the water, carelessly thrown away bottles. So I see every day what makes me more and more doing the last 15 years, making the world a better place. The world that I leave to my children needs to recover and somewhere we need to start and get started. Theory doesn't help much. We are a team of doers, aren't we Tasman? The awareness is active and now we need movement. My name is Tasman and I'm the environmental manager for Somewhere. We're changing the connections that are linked to consumers' behaviour. Somewhere chooses to get the motions turning across the world to help businesses change the way they use their profits. Sven, would you like to tell us how Somewhere is and has been using internal taxation to fund environmental projects? Somewhere taxes itself on all its products. This internal tax is dedicated towards environmental programs, maximizing the efficiency. It also gives our customers a chance to be a part of a grassroots environmental movement and connect with each other in that way. We work on programs to generate action. Action to protect the reefs, the shorelines, the seas, the forests and all habitats in a better way than we found them. Our connections and collaborations for the planet are vast. Sven, can you tell us more about the projects that the taxation funds? Just so you know, Somebody does not use any plastic packaging. We tax ourselves when we use recycled polyester in our garments. And we even put a plastic tax on the certified organic cotton in our main collection, bringing our programs to, to a new level of engagement. We use the tax to pay our POP team to head out every day to remove the plastic waste from the beaches and oceans in Thailand. Following in the footsteps of our pioneer, Dr. Arne Fjortoft, we are planting mangrove trees in the uh, Worldview International, blue carbon verified, the Tor Heyerdahl Climate Park in Myanmar. Each tree planted will absorb one ton CO2 over 20 years. So it's a very, very efficient CO2 sequestration. Maybe the most efficient one if you look at the land masses use and the cost of planting. So super green machine. This was not enough for us. At Somewhere we wanted to do more. Timo, can you tell us how our Somewhere supports not just the planet itself, but also those connected to Planet Somewhere? We also ensure we are paying fair wages and are using the best materials for the planet with the lowest impact. We also award people for their environmental actions for being storytellers and word spreaders of their very own environmental projects. Overall, our garments are working to reduce the effects of climate change, with each item reducing CO2 emissions at either 10 times or 1000 times the amount of what it costs to the planet to produce. Knowing that each choice you make leaves an imprint, we must be truly proud of the choices that we leave behind. Right now, would you be proud of your imprint? Sven, I'm sure you have more to say on this. Yes, uh, Tasmin, uh, let, let's demand immediate change in environmental practices from, from our politicians and companies to end our vacuum of, of ignorance. How about starting with the tax reduction for companies that meet CO2 emission targets? It's low hanging fruit, everybody should be happy, all winners. And for each one of us to make planet friendly purchases today. So join our resistance. Let me introduce you to our pioneer, Dr. Arne Fjortoft. The major problem today is all the CO2 climate gases we have left in the atmosphere. And here is the solution, trees. The mangrove is a miracle tree. 
And this is the most efficient machine in capturing CO2 and store it in the ground. The mangrove tree mitigates five times more CO2 than other type of trees. One mangrove tree can produce oxygen for four people. It grows fast, it's easy to plant, and there is plenty of land to plant mangrove trees. From now on, we know we can move very fast. We can plant more than one billion trees within the next 10 years. It's like a miracle when the forest has been restored. Life is coming back. They produce food and shelter for small fish, so we get 50% more seafood in mangrove forest. And when people see that they earn more money from keeping the forest than to cutting down the trees, they will maintain it. And if we don't realize that nature is our future, we have no future. Action is needed immediately. Join us and help us to plant more trees. Somewhere is changing the following effects of purchasing. Allowing for the consumer to make a lasting change and engage in a conversation with their family and friends about the efforts the company behind the clothing is going to. Timo, how would you say this will evoke a lasting change for the future? With solutions as our main focus, we have had enough of the practice what we preach. Instead, we want to change the future and we are shouting out about what we do to let everyone else know they also have the power to change the course of our future. True, and we need action now. By giving everyone the opportunity to act, it's like passing around the gauntlet that somewhere have set alight themselves. Timo, tell us how summer garments match up to environmental projects. By selecting somewhere, you will be helping us remove CO2 from the atmosphere and will also help us to remove plastic waste from our oceans and beaches. There are a few levels of action. A garment can be either 10 times or 1,000 times climate positive, meaning we will plant mangroves to absorb the emissions created through the production of the garment. All garments are a minimum 10 times climate positive. For example, a Climate Hero hoodie will be absorbed 10 tons CO2, more than double the global average CO2 emission of a person. So a statement that yes, anyone can do their part. On the other side of the climate coin, all garments are a minimum plastic balance. So we pick up the same amount of plastic gram as the weight of the garment even if it is made out of organic cotton. An Ocean Hero garment funds collection of 1.1 kilogram ocean or beach trash, the global average per person ocean plastic pollution. Yes, somewhere it's giving each one of us a piece of the solution puzzle. Sven, is there anything else that you'd like to add here? Thanks to Nico Rosberg, creating a workspace for disruptive environmental engagement and Robert Redford for choosing to channel a lifetime of energy towards protecting our future life on Earth. On Planet Summer, we give respect to the next generation, to nature and to all that is living. Each summer product creates action for the planet. Each choice we make leaves an imprint. Somewhere is a statement of belonging. Belong to a movement that is driven by positivity for all species and for the planet. We preach what we practice. We need to reach beyond sports equipment and into everyone's daily life. And all come together for the planet. Let's start a movement, not just talk about. Our future is right here on planet somewhere. <laughs>